Welcome back to an all signs Aries through Pisces. Keep in mind if it is not your story, now let's move on, please. We are starting with Elemental Quickies. Aries, if you are dealing with another Aries, Leo, or Sag, Source, what do we have? Two more. One more. Okay. All right, this person wants to come in and have communication with you, but they think that you don't trust them. They might have an apology here. They do want balance. They want to possibly apologize and make something right between the two of you. Heavy on the Pisces and Libra. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One more. Okay. You have the Ace of Cups. We also have this person's not over you. They could have acted like a manipulator in the past. They could have been very selfish. Okay, they do want to come in. I would be a little bit leery or careful with this person. Bottom of the deck. I mean, they, their intentions are to kind of learn a lesson from this. But their intentions look decent. So they could have learned a lesson and now might be a little more generous with their time or emotions. Alrighty. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh. Can be a gift. Can be a successful beginning. What else? Source. Okay. And then you have... All right. Overall energy here is actually quite nice. This person wants to plan on making an offer here. They want... They feel like this could move forward. They feel like the fe feeling is mutual. Ooh passionate new beginning i say that's a big fat go for it that feels new too nice i do like the knight of pentacles even though that's the slowest offer slowest you know bringer to the table but i feel like it's the most reliable because they definitely put a lot of thought into it i like it this person's chill all right and determined two aces very nice okay Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorn, Source. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This person and you have just dropped it. That could have been that they were screwing with your brain or that they stepped out. You got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So they definitely could have had their eye on somebody else. One more. It could be an Aries. One more. You might have dropped them because they did something stupid, pretty much immature, betrayal. Yeah, I feel like you just took off from this connection, had enough. And it feels like because there was secrets, okay? Or holding back of emotions. Either one isn't a great combination. Heavy on the Cancer. Heavy, what do we have at the bottom? Heavy Pisces, Cancer, and Aries. All right, we are getting out V-Love Crystals. I love her decks. I can't help it. Jukebox love. And see what we have for you, Aries. It is in the description box for any readers that are interested. It's a lot of fun. Very colorful. Love it. All right. For Aries source, give us a card or two, please. All right. Let's see what we have. I just called to say I love you. Somebody's got feelings. All right. Let's get, ooh, and at the bottom of the deck, you have emotions. Let's just take it out. What the hell here? Very nice. All right, let's get a clean deck. Okay, Aries, we have the overall energy of temperance. So it can be a Sagittarius coming your direction. We're going to try and sneak that up there. You can barely see it, but we know it's there. All right, temperance. So it can be a Sagittarius coming your way, but this also can be just, you know, how you're juggling everyday life, um, working well with others. Trial and error, making safe decisions, self-control, moderation, can be intimate connections, can be a new relationship. Cuddling, patience. Okay, source. Person most on their mind or in their energetic field. What do we have for that person's overall energy? That person's energy. Okay. You get the Knight of Cups. This is somebody that has intent on coming your direction for dating. Somebody that wants to show 
interest in you, possibly with long term in mind, brings good messages and very sexually attracted to you. So that, I mean, that Queen of Wands is you. All right. So interested, yes. All right. Their intentions with our Aries. It can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Heavy on that Sagittarius with the Temperance. Their intentions. Intention. Apparently they haven't decided yet. Okay, we have. Hmm. This is somebody that wants to see how things take off the ground. So they're they're thinking kind of like, well, now what? And I think or I'm wondering if this would be a good relationship or wanting to take a relationship at a slower pace. Kind of like that's their opinion. One more. One more. Yeah, I think they want to take things slowly. Definitely feels like this person's hesitating a little bit. Bottom of the deck, you got the high priestess. Why are they holding back? They're thinking a lot about you. They're thinking about the balance between the two of you. They're thinking about the generosity. They're thinking about you and how far this could go. They're wondering about the balance. They want to see if this is something that could take off the ground. How do you view them on the floor it goes? And you have the chariot. So also can be a cancer. This is determination. Forward movement. Could feel a little bit of pressure from this person, but it also can be your willpower and ready to rock and roll. Could be feeling that it's very successful. And then you have the star. Ooh. That is hoping that this moves forward with this person. It can be a Cancer or an Aquarius, but that's really nice energy saying that you are interested. It's like, I feel like this is a goal I should go after. It's like, I'm picking. I'm picking you. Goal achieved. Having a lot of willpower. All right. And then you got the eight of coins. This is something you'd be willing to work on. You have the eight of coins. They have the six of coins. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is definitely somebody that you feel could get on the same chapter with you. You know, nice. Like, I think we would work well together. Let's continue seeing each other. See how it goes. This is somebody that could be a right person for you, but there's a feeling of very nice balance. Cut of the deck, we have the world. So this can be a brand new chapter. It can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. But it's success. It's a happy new beginning. It's your personal freedoms and the two of you going into a new direction that sure the hell looks successful. Can be travels as well. But this looks like a new connection that could really take off very nicely. You have no reversals. Oh, finally, Aries. Very nice. We're leaving it. So heavy Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is really saying you're really, you know, they're holding back a little bit. They're hesitating a little bit, but you're ready to rock and roll. I don't see that you have really any hesitation when it comes to this person. This is yearning. This is daydreaming about them. This is getting all Twitter pated out and up in your head about them. You want to succeed as well. There can be a travel. There can be this person could live at a bit of a distance, but it doesn't have to be. But it is progress. It's nice. So you have Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cancer. So yeah, I'd say there's emotions here. Can't say love yet. No, but this person is interested in it's like, now what? Hey, where do we go? Where do we go from here? This is really positive. This also can be passion. Doesn't always have to be holding back. It can be just having the getting the strength up and the courage to Hey, you want to go out? Can be a Leo. Very nice energy, guys. Wow. And, of course, then we do have the balance. And that is also that possibility of a new connection. Very nice. All right, we're going to get one from Source for an answer. Yes, no. And we are going to roll the dice. Yes, no for Aries. What do we got? Oh, please. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. All right. Yes, no, maybe so. Source. Let's see what we have. 
Response unknown. So I'm thinking and assuming that you have not met this person yet, but it sure the heck looks nice. All right, Aries, very nice energy. Looks like new. We like it. On we go. All right, Tauruses, Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Source. What do we have for fire signs? All right. Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Looks like this ended rather quickly. What else? It's kind of like them bailing on a long... Oh, feels like they screwed up. They're not happy. They also could have felt like this ended way too quickly, but they're not over you. One more. They are not done. What do they want to say? They say that they feel like you didn't put any work into this with them. That's what we got here. They feel like you just walked away. They feel like they lost a chance here, but that there was obstacles that was kind of like beyond their, you know, so almost that feeling of trying to... Uh, Make exceptions and excuses for why this didn't go down well. All right. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Five of Wands. What are we arguing about? Oh, shit. This is arguments over somebody else getting their nose stuffed in between the two of you. This person's not reliable or they think that you aren't. Can be a Gemini, but this person's basically calling you out for putting somebody between the two of you. Be it another person or a job or whatever. It feels like a person. Um, there's a reliability issue here and a lot of jealousy. Cut of the deck. Looks like they're just like, I've had enough. You could have been the one to say I've had enough. Always remember that roles can be reversed. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two pentacles reversed. Why is the two reversed? No contact here. Waste of fucking time. Well, what the hell? Oh, and ignoring you on purpose. They're being an asshole. They're being a little shit ass. This is somebody that does want to come in, but it's almost like they're trying to teach you a lesson by being quiet, showing doubt, or wasting your damn time. Let's get a cut. Oh, so much holding back here. They feel like if they do this, that it's going to make you interested again, or you're going to want to come in and talk to them about it. I feel like you're doing working on healing while they're sitting there being a jackass. Don't like it. Can be a Virgo. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Well, hello, Knight of Cups. So while that one's on mental vacay, this person wants to come in and offer you dating. This is somebody that has respect for you, wanting to learn about you. You might meet this person through a friend. It does feel new. They might be a little on the shy side. <laughs> You got two pages here, though. You could have more than one offer, and they're kind of considering who are you going to friend zone. So you're going to leave one of them unhappy. It can be a Leo, but this is this is really like a la carte. It's like I've got interest. I've got a. I get a me 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 me. How do you view this? Because it seems like there's more than one option. One particularly that you are interested in. Ooh, and it could be an ex. So I don't know which one did your friend zone and which one. I mean, if this is an apology, it's itty bitty. This would be a better apology. Both cards can be an apology, but this is also the card of learning. So it can be one person coming in with an apology that you had ended things with. There's a feeling of emotional poverty and a little bit of a mutual blame game going on there, though. So be careful. All right, we're getting out V Love Crystals deck. Jukebox Love. In the description box for any readers or anybody interested. Taurus, what do we have for Taurus today? Taurus. Okay, close to you. All right, well, let's find out who wants to get close to you. Okay, overall energy of judgment. So this is definitely something that you're deciding on. It's a big decision. This isn't just, you know, what are you wearing today for work? This is something more like, do I want somebody in my life or not? Assessing situations can be new beginnings, also can be second chances. 
Who is coming towards our Tauruses? Most on their mind or in their energetic field? That person's energy. That person's overall energy. Okay, what do we have? Nine of Swords reversed. This person is starting to become more optimistic. What are they optimistic about? Not feeling as bad about an ending, possibly. They're not all up in their head as they had been. Two of Cups. All right. Why the Two of Cups? Well, come on. Two of Swords. They feel like... You should be changing your mind. If you had broken up, I'm definitely saying that this was a connection that this person still wants. Nine of Swords, it's like less anxious, trying to get their balance back and become more, op, you know, optimistic about it. But it do, does look like there was, it can be Scorpio, that there was an upheaval here. Major one. We're not talking small. We're talking big. Hammered to the ground. Shattering of false pretenses. Bullshit. Lies. What is this person's feelings? Their actual feeling source. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, Queen of Cups. So they do have feelings for you. They consider you to be possibly the one for them. Strong feelings. Deep connections. Caring. Oh, and hurt. No, no, no. Why the Three of Swords? So they feel hurt by you. They also can feel that they hurt you. One more for the Three of Swords. Come on. They want to come back. Okay. Did they cause this Three of Swords? Yes, they did. Okay, so this could have been that they stepped out of this connection. Eight of Swords, they feel like they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. They are still interested in you. They want to be back in your arms, in your embrace. They still care about you. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? Ooh, you think they're full of shit. There's been arguments here. You don't trust them. No, no, there was bitter, bitter, bitter fighting here. You could feel like this just failed and that this person self-sabotaged. That they took advantage of you. All right, one more for the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You want truth moving forward. You're determined to find out what the truth is. What are your actual feelings? Well, you're not over them, but you have bad, shitty memories. One more for the Six of Cups. One more for the Six of Cups. It's not that you don't think about them. You do, but there's just a feeling of you still have, you still have passion towards this person. You might consider them a little bit cruel and domineering and only caring about their own needs as well. It's like, I can't hold you down. I can't constantly watch you. This can be jealousy about this person. It's not the most positive energy. You want contentment? You, want to, you just want to be happy. What is the blockage here? What is the actual blockage? Unreliability. This is kind of immature unreliability. This is somebody that hesitates. It could be that you don't care about this person or you feel like they don't care about you as much as you thought they did. But it is definitely overthinking the situation and you might just plow ahead. One more for the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Three of Cups. That definitely could have been a third party situation. Unreliable. You're not interested in that? Oh, no. The Three of Swords itself can be a third-party situation. And this looks like you put your foot down and told them no. They still have emotions. They still want this connection with you. Do you want this connection with them? Doesn't look like it. There's just a feeling of not being able to trust this person, and you're pissed. 
You got the cock block queen card. Okay, it's like I'm blocking this energy. This feels like you would constantly have to watch them if you tried to reconcile. And they act stoic. Could be meeting somebody new. Is there anybody coming new? They're absolutely singles. Yeah. A new love interest could lead to something long term. Very nice. Can be an Aries Leo Sag, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But there is no trust here. Feels like it was a waste of time and you're holding back. You, I mean, you do. It's like you want, you're thinking, I got my clarity after this, you know, argument, a really bitter one. Okay. Really bitter. A lot of drama, hurtful words, some bad fighting. You got the truth and you were done. This is like, adios, I'm out of here. I'm very determined not to waste any more of my time. That does look like this can be negative thoughts and memories and just going, ah, I don't, you know, I feel, I really do feel like you're thinking this person's just selfish. Controlling and domineering and you always wondered if they were reliable or trustable and you're letting them know it. I mean, you really cut their head right off verbally. There is new energy coming in, but this is a waste of time. This is trust issues. It's like, I finally got my epiphany. I'm just dropping this. There are. There are emotions here, but it's not going to do any good if there's too much watching and stalking and third party situation. Who the hell wants that? So judgment, I don't feel like you would forgive them. I just don't. So it could be a new beginning here. You also have the eight of cups. Them wanting to return, but having put you in possibly a third party situation, sure the hell looks like it. And now they feel like they just can't move because they still have feelings for you. Well, you know, keep telling the same old story over and over in your head. If you keep making it happen that way, that's what's going to be. This can be them trying to come with terms with the fact that you told them to go fuck themselves and you've had enough, but they still have emotions for you. Well, you know, you shouldn't have made a bad boo-boo and accidentally fell into a vagina. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This does look like this person made a mess. Mm -hmm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they, they do care about you, but what? why? I, I don't understand why people are, what are you, bored? Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer's Cancer heavily. Yeah, I feel like you got your clarity and you just said that's enough of this shit. So close to you? No, they might try, but I don't feel like you want to be close to them. Let's get an answer from Source. We're also rolling Little Blue. Little Blue, what do you got? Not going to happen. No, they're not going to get close to you. What do we have, Source? Answer. Question most on their mind. It's complicated. All right, Taurus says, I don't think you're allowing that person to get close to you, but it does look like there's a new interest in you and somebody that's kind of thinking about coming your direction. It's small, but, you know, after that shit show, you want something small. Okay, could just be initial starting into dating. That's what we have for you, and on we go. Okay, Gemini's Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Let's see what we have. Okay. Passion. You have the Ace to the Two. This person's interested in getting to know you. They hope the feeling is mutual. It sure the hell looks like it would be. One more. New passionate beginning, a new relationship, potentially. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And look at that, a planner. So somebody that takes things slow, even though they want to get in your pants real quick. This is somebody that's going to be reliable, sticks around. Oh, oh, oh. Faithful, serious effort. I'm liking it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Eight of Wands. Let us chat. Incoming messages. Positive incoming messages. This person wants to make a wrong right. Okay, you got the Eight of Swords. There's something that needs to be let go of. What needs to be released? Maybe the Kraken. Ten of Cups. Ah. One more. 
one more. This person could be getting a divorce, just saying, because it is there. Sure the hell looks like somebody's going to be pissed off as hell. I'm sorry, but that's semi a third party situation. They might not be completely done with the person that they are in a disconnect from. Looks like they need to let go of them. I do feel like they could be getting a divorce and coming in to um, get to know you. It doesn't have to be a divorce, but it does look like they'd be honest with you with the communication. They can be at a physical distance. It's a lot for elemental cookies. Heavy Libra. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Wands. This person feels like they're at the end of their rope, but they have done all the heavy work here. Could be also the think things are taking too long. Seven of Swords. Oh, oh, oh. Holding back or lying? Holding back. So they're only interested in passion and, you know, fun. It seems like they're anxious to get to know you. It can also be somebody that wants to return and have a chat. What do they want? Oh, you know, I'm sorry, but that's so third party-ish. No, fuck that shit. Seven of Swords lying and sneaking around potentially. Mm -mm. Looks like they could have abandoned you. Uh-uh. This looks like you dropped this shit. Ten of Wands. It's like, had enough of it? No. Big burden. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got the night of shit. You got the night of shit. Kind of looking that way. What does the night of shit want? It's a disconnection or a third party. Oh, I'm saying third party in there. I will drop my toxic ways. I won't do this again. I want you back. How do you view this? Well, this had been long term. You might forgive them. So that can be a reconciliation. You got judgment here with the Empress. This is saying I will be more respectful of you. Changing my values in my ways. But it's sure the hell. Now can just be a break up. It doesn't have to be a third party. If it was the Knight of Wands, I'd be a little more leery. But with the Knight of Cups, that's an apology after a breakup or a separation. They could have done anything that was not on the same wavelength as what you consider to be acceptable. But that definitely can be an apology. Empress, that is showing respect towards you. It can be a Libra or Taurus. So ah, that's a fairly decent chance at a second chance. All right, we are getting out. Jukebox, love. It is in the description box below. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Source, Gemini's, please. What do we have today? Feeling so good. Ooh, feeling so good. Jennifer Lopez. All right, let's get a clean deck and see what we have for you. Okay, Gemini's, you have the overall energy of temperance that can be making clear, smart, balanced decisions. That can be a connection that is new, can be waiting. Right underneath of it, you got the Queen of Pentacles. So this is showing that you know your value, you know your worth. Right underneath of that is the Tower Reverse. So you could be getting over an ending. Something that doesn't feel as bad as it had been. You could have dodged a bullet or you might be avoiding an ending and refusing to, um, you know, deal with it. Okay, person most on their mind or in their energetic field. Source. What's that person's overall energy? One more shuffle. What's that person's overall energy? Terrafont is at the bottom of the deck now. That would show commitment. Person's overall energy. Okay, They're, they might be a little bit pushy. I don't feel like they want this to, you know, if there had been self-doubt, it could be feeling intimidated or just irritated. They feel like they got the raw end of the deal here. They don't feel like this was fair. Wah, wah, poor me. <coughs> they don't feel like something was right. They feel like they got screwed out of something. White justice reversed. They might be blaming you. It is a separation. It can be their consequences. 
No balance here. And then you got the Knight of Swords reversed. <sighs> I feel like they lied to you. So they're thinking about what the hell they did. Irritated, probably pissed off at themselves. They also might feel like you're a control freak. Like you, um, and you know, I really feel like they're trying to come to terms with the fact that they manipulated the situation. Bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So missing you, missing the connection. How do they actually feel? All right. One more for feelings. Maybe a Gemini as well, but I feel like this is how they feel about you. They want to talk. They want to come in and communicate. What do they want to say? What would this person say? Let's start again. Let's start over. I will be more reliable. I still love you and I want a new chapter with you. Hmm. Now, they could have made a rash decision, and uh, messed around, just gonna say like it is, because the lovers can be a choice between two. But that feeling of the Four of Pentacles, it's uh, kind of trying to get control of the situation, how they feel deep down inside, and kind of refusing to let go. But they're also stubborn and reluctant to talk to you about what had actually happened or how they have, what they're thinking. They don't want to share with you their feelings. Yes. What they actually think. I think they got the wrong of the deal and you feel like they were a manipulator. So you're emotionally cold, not dealing with their lies anymore. You can be vindictive and just cutting because you've just had enough of the lies and bullshit. Confusion, a lot of confusion. So if this person comes in and says, let's try this again, it leaves you feeling confused. It's like, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I, you know, you made me a option and I'm not thrilled with that shit. What are your actual feelings for this person? Ten of Wands, it's like, okay. Mm, pain in the ass. You felt like you did all the heavy work in this connection. You might let it go. You might say that's enough of this shit. One more for the Six of Swords. That's saying I'm leaving the baggage in the past. And, and in this situation, I feel like you're leaving them in the dirt. You're done. So you're like, no, I'm starting over. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you feel. They also could have chosen, started up a different connection with somebody else. But at the same time, they're holding on to you. Yeah, screw that shit. Who's coming towards Gemini that is new? All right, you could have a Capricorn coming your way. You could have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But it does look like you're just saying enough of this shit and moving on. The Wheel of Fortune is better luck. It's karma. This person could have karma coming their direction because of what they did. But it does look like there's somebody that wants to work with you. It's not as toxic. We're just going for signs here, so Capricorn and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. I just feel like you've had enough. I feel like you just were like, I put the work into this. I put a lot of work into this, and it caused a lot of confusion, and it's like one hell of a shit show. You could have felt like they treated you like an option, and you are very ticked. That's the cock block queen saying enough of this shit already. This person could have made you an option, you know, and they're acting like a jackass. Bossy and pushy. They might be trying to stroke your ego and lying. See, the Knight of Swords can come in and embellish the truth. It's almost like, I'll feel you out and just in case. And it's called back burner babe, you know, keep you on the back burner, even though they might be uh, dealing with somebody else. So you have... Heavy, Sagittarius, feeling so good in my ass, Libra, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Heavy, Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Capricorn. I don't think that you're dealing with that crap anymore. So let's just say absolutely single moving forward. Oh, dating. 
So you could be dating somebody new soon. And then we have the Three of Pentacles that's at the bottom of the deck again. And I did shuffle it. So wanted to get on the same page. Interested in you. Wanted to get together and go out on a date. That we like. All right. Little blue. Not gonna happen. And an answer from Source. Well, you might be feeling better after this has been done. I do feel like that person. You have looks good. So whatever you're thinking about does look good. All right. That's what we have for you, Geminis. And on we go. All right. Cancers, elements, and quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. What do we have, Source? Okay. All right. This person got busted. Being unfaithful. Straight up done. Yuck. Can be a Scorpio. Yep, that's the end of that one. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Wow. <laughs> Lust and passion and definitely wants to get in your pants. Well then, so this is somebody that wants to be very intimate. I feel like they're a little bit obsessed with you, but they actually do have something to offer with the cut of the deck. Very, very obsessed, but it's their selfishness I'm feeling. Can be a Capricorn and just that simple or a Sagittarius. I feel like they're greedy and want you all to themselves. Well, how about that? Chiat. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Here I come. What is this going to, you know, end up being here, Source? This person comes back and wants to say what? I fucked up. Ooh. So this person's admitting that they're selfish. They know they've known this. It's been all the time. They do want to come in and communicate. So one more. Jesus Lord, I gotta pause to get those. If you would have seen the flight that those took off on. They want to drop the drama. They aren't gonna put you in a position of competition anymore. They want to start over, even if it has to be from ground zero. They do mean business. This can be a fresh start for you and this person. Domineering, cruel, selfish. They're, you know, kind of admitting it. Not bad. Can be an Aries. All right. Let's not go too crazy here, Source. Let's have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn without going across the room. Okay, this person's kind of regretting not putting enough work into this maybe gave up too soon not happy with the results <laughs> all right two more oh major regret this person caused an ending between the two of you they're hiding their emotions it's not really saying what what had happened but they are really regretting. They might be just hanging their head and leaving because the truth came out. But they caused it. They put the doubt in your mind about the connection that's now done. Oh, Lee. All right. So you got somebody that's obsessed and wants to screw your brains out. So that's always a plus. Okay, we are getting out the Love Crystals jukebox love in the description box for anybody that's interested. What kind of jukebox love do we have for cancers? One or two, please, source. One more shuffle. All Just a friend and poison. Well, not the best combination. You do have, say, you'll be there at the bottom of the deck. So let's get a clean deck and see what's going on. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. So it can be a Pisces that you're dealing with. I feel like you're kind of letting something go or you're in the energy of just not knowing exactly what to do. So kind of holding back. You could be brainstorming to try to connect all the dots, but there's a feeling of waiting and maybe looking at things in a different perspective. All right, person most on your minor and your energetic field, source. What do we have for that person's overall energy? Not wanting this to be done. Can be a Scorpio. You have death reversed. All right, one more for their thoughts. 
Death reversed, huh? Major change, resisting change, not wanting to be in the end. They're kind of hanging out in limbo. And then you have strength. This person still has passion towards you. They still feel an emotional tie. Might be trying to persuade you not to, you know, end it with them. Their actual feelings. We have the Three of Cups. They want to reconcile. They want you back. Bottom of the deck. Have you been manifesting somebody back? Or they are. The magician is having everything that you need to be able to move forward in any direction that you want to, basically. That's very, very potentially powerful energy. One more for feelings for this person. I feel like the ball is really in your court here. They feel like you are cold. They want to get back together, but they feel like you're just, you have a chip on your shoulder and that you might be uh, confrontational to say the least, but also that you're very, very strong and confident, sometimes hard to read. They're not exactly sure what, what you would say. I know you are protecting your hurt. All right. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? One more shuffle. How does cancer view this person? You get the six of coin. All right, was this one-sided? It's kind of what you're wondering. Can they drop their toxic ways? Kind of also what you're wondering. Can we ever get on the same page? So you're wondering about the balance and you're wondering if they're ever going to drop their toxic shit. It can be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Heavy Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What are your actual feelings towards this person? Actual feelings. Okay. There's a lot of passion here. Some of you might want them to come in and offer an apology and put more work into it. What was the actual blockage? What was the actual blockage? We have a king of... Okay, so they could have been a workaholic. They could have been not reliable enough or not acting like they'd be long-term. It's like I wanted a serious offer. Somebody that, you know, worked on things that actually wanted to eventually be long-term or wanted to be married and actually thinks on how they, like, take things seriously. Not be a risk-taker. One more for the king of coin. One more. Okay. You got the Emperor and the Eight of Wands. So it's like, this is wanted. The communication could have been shit. There also can be a distance. But this is wanting to talk. And the Emperor, they can have held back their emotions. The Emperor doesn't really get off his fucking ass for anybody. Very, st you know, stable. So it's like, you're saying this should have been more stable and you want better communication. Mm hmm. All right, does this person reach out since they are the ones that don't want this to be done? doesn't look like either one of you want this to be done. You got the King of Cups. They still love you. They still care about you. Using their head and their heart. This is somebody that might have one hell of a strong attachment to you and is ready to come in and boss up. And then you have the Page of Swords. So watching you. Collecting information, very nervous, very nervous. They are considering coming in for this serious chat, but they're going to be a little meek on it. It's almost like they're going to sit there and listen. <laughs> All right. And what do you think about it when this person reaches out? Because this is looking like I want to reconcile. You have the four of cups reversed. You're regaining interest or wanting them to put more work into it, but you do consider them your better half. The Emperor to the Empress definitely showing that this was or could definitely become a very, very good connection. You're really deep in thought about it. What they didn't do was put enough work into it. You felt like it was one-sided. They still have a lot of emotion for you and they don't want it done. So, I mean, very mutual energy between the two of you. Very mutual energy. 
this does not look bad. They really are cut of the deck again. Two of coin, really juggling the idea, but they're going to be kind of, kind of like the little kids sitting on the timeout chair, you know, hanging their head, knowing they're going to get it. So that definitely can mean that this person is going to reach out. Eight of Wands saying that you want the communication. You you want, the, you know, quick speak up, jackass. All right. It's like, get off your ass and come my way. And let's talk about this. Absolutely singles. We have the Page of Cups. Somebody that has an interest in you or a positive message, but focused on you and be younger. Ooh expressing emotions and then we have the star it can be an Aquarius very nice energy and the two of cups at the bottom of the deck so that's showing a new connection or two people that are interested at least not saying that it's love but it's a mutual feeling and it's meeting somebody and probably compatibility it does look very nice Cancer Scorpio Pisces Aquarius Cancer Scorpio Pisces so that can be new dating this is somebody that could be daydreaming about you or vice versa, but it's really, you know, yearning, burning, and feeling like I can attain this. This is something I'm digging. So, this looks like a, a reconciliation. It just looks like there was, this person needed to boss up, and it looks like they are willing to do so, but they're going to come in with their head hanging and really take it. They're going to take, they're going to bend over and take it because they know they got it coming. They want to be in a connection with you. They're going to have to boss up. This is looking like boss up. You still have passion towards them. This is saying, I want this to work out. And with the king of cups, it sure the hell looks like they do too. They know that you are mad. They know that you are ticked. Okay. And that you will cut them out if they don't come at you the right way. So as far as just a friend, no, there's more than friends here. I don't think they did anything poisonous either, but it is possible. I think we just got the wrong cards for you. All right, we're going to roll a little blue. We have, of course, and let's get a question answered. Source, question most on Cancer's mind. What do we have for an answer? You have no deer. Next card up is... Mm hmm. Take what resonates. That's what we have for you cancers. And on we go. Okay, Leo. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have for fire? All right. This person's confused and they don't even want to fucking talk. Why the confusion? Oh, 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 oh. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, huh? Let him go. Yeah, that's a player. No, thank you. No, I would communicate with the devil before I communicate with that one. They like their choices. It can be a Gemini. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Why do we have the two of coin here? No contact. This person's maybe committing to too many things. I'm kind of feeling like they need to slow down. Emperor. Yeah, I really feel like they're just workity work, 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 and that they aren't interested in any... Yeah, you're not talking to this person anyway. I feel like they've just kind of buried themselves in seclusion and not really wanting to deal with anybody. One more. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's... No, 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 no. That person's a mm mm. That's a that's a mm mm. Bad choice there. This is like they're blocking any attempts for you to communicate with them, and it feels like there's a betrayal there. So don't even bother with them. Mm mm. No, they're being stoic and shitty, selfish. All right. Maybe in the future, but not right now. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces we have. All right. This person knows that you have put up clear boundaries and that you have the upper hand and that they have emotions towards you. Oh, she ought. All right. This person is coming clean about... 
how they feel about you. Ooh, well then, that's nice. We like that. If they have been a commitment phobe in the past, they want to come in with communication, okay? They might be afraid to tell you the truth, but they don't want this to be done. They care about you. They might have an offer and they're afraid of telling you, pussy. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is upset. They do not feel that the two of you are done. So you could be dealing with somebody that's kind of moody, emotionally immature. Could have been an emotional man. Oh, yeah, definitely not done. <laughs> do they reach out? They might. That sure the hell looks good. This is somebody that's ready to, to talk. They do want to come in. And it's like they took a time out to think about this. They were very, very disappointed. This, again, can be, I was afraid to commit, and now I'm ready. I mean, the Empress is having more respect, so you could have told them, if you can't commit, forget it. This person's really rethinking this and going, I don't want this to be over. All right. You got a lot of hidden feelings here, guys. Interesting. Okay. Let's get out jukebox love in the description box for anybody that is interested. Source, Leo's. One card for Leo's. One more shuffle. All right. Let's see what we have. Okay. Seriously. Just a friend and kiss. Hmm. All right. It's the second time just a friend came out. Let's get a clean deck. Okay, Leo. We have... The overall energy of the hangman. Let's see if we can put them up here. Okay. Can you see that? Barely. So there's a feeling of your energy being holding back, using your gut instinct, trying to connect the dots. All right. Waiting could be surrendering or just dropping something altogether. So let's see what we have. Person most on your mind or in your energetic field. What? is their overall energy right now. Let's start with their energy source. All right, dropping something toxic, changing their values, changing, you know, they're dropping anything that is toxic, feeling helpless, possibly trying to build up some inner strength. One more. And then you got the two of wands. Interesting. One more for the two of wands. So it's kind of like being at a crossroad here with this person. It's like, can I do this? Can I not do this? Can I, you know. <laughs> this is somebody that might want to reconcile their actual feelings. Actual feelings. Okay, their actual feelings. This looks like somebody that walked away at one point already. They also could be dropped, you know, walking away from somebody else or feeling rejected by you and wanting to reconcile. They could be walking away from something else. One more for the Eight of Cups. Two of Cups. Mm. I do feel like this person wants to be with you. I do feel like they're, they felt rejected by you. There could have been something that they were doing that needed to change. And they're willing to do so. Which is a completely new path for them. But they're being honest about it. That is truth. And with the cut of the deck, this is saying, I want to offer a new beginning with you. Wanting to be successful. All right. Does this person reach out? Does this person reach out? I mean, toxicness can be anything. It can be addiction to drugs. It does feel like they are feeling that this is something attainable. It's like, I believe that there's still faith here. This does look very good. 
bottom of the deck you have the eight of wands that is rapid change that is communication that is possibly a distance but wanting to communicate get past your walls it is movement and it it's action okay it's speaking up and keep they keep coming all right how do you view this person how do you view this person you could have friends on them until they got their shit together i'll tell you that you care about this person, but you're also using your intuition. One more for your thoughts. One more for your thoughts. I mean, you're being kind and caring. Oh, oh, are you? What are you guys doing? This looks to me like you're trying to manifest the come back your direction and put more work into it. If you are, it's working. I'm going to pull that seven out. This is success. You got the six of wands right underneath of it. Success, movement, getting attention. I feel like this is, you know, becoming more confident. You're definitely in it to win it. It's getting past any barriers. Your actual feelings towards this person. This does look to me like you've been working on manifesting. If you don't understand what that means, that means that you've been thinking so heavily about this person coming to you. Seeing them mentally at your door, their embrace, things of that nature. It, and if it's in a positive light, it is manifestation. If it's just daydreaming about them. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Feelings. Stubborn, you guys are stubborn. Okay, so this is saying, starting with just friend, this could be taking it slow very healthy energy, trying to regain balance. This is intimacy. It can be a new connection or a reconnecting because, I mean, if you got the Queen of Cups, this isn't something that just happened. However, if you are completely single, I can say the same thing. This is somebody that's dropping something toxic and choosing to go a different path, wanting to possibly meet you out, something to celebrate, new dating. They walked away from somebody else and they have more faith with you. So it can go either direction, single or reconciliation. This is saying that I really care about this person or feel like this is growing emotions. It could go somewhere and still manifesting, having all the power that you need and really thinking about them and you're really, really working it, okay? You're really feeling like this could be something that would have good results and pay off. It could start with friendship. But the Page of Pentacles is also learning, being practical about the choice, being practical about the opportunity with this newer connection or with the connection period can be a Sagittarius. <coughs> so, movement forward source, this could be either new or old. Okay, that's definitely saying somebody's not over you. And that they would put a lot more work into this. And that they want to continue to be in a connection with you. Aries, possibly with a fool. Wanting a fresh start. Now, it also can say if you were single that this person's not over their ex completely. But they're still willing to work on it with you. So either direction, it does look good. Wanting to communicate. Coming in. Something stable. Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Singles, you might have more than one choice. And there is definitely the feeling of, I can't get you off my mind. This is beautiful energy. So it could be something that starts meeting through a friend or starts with friendship just to get to know them. But that is the learning card, that Page of Pentacles. Can be somebody that's just younger than you, that's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Taurus, but this is the higher, higher commitment card. It's... Belief systems, okay, believing in and having faith in this connection. This is somebody that wants to sh show interest in you. Singles, you might have more than one option here. This one's anxious to see, are you available? And this one's got more emotion, but it can be the same person. And they, it's almost like the emperor can be all four kings in one. This can be like the fool that's coming in and they're anxious and they want to get to know you. They want to express their feelings. They're interested in you sexually. This is stability and celebration. So new 
If you're looking for new love, this can be meeting at a gathering or a celebration, but it's something very exciting and fun, and there is stability to be had here. This is really sweet energy. It does feel like you're making it happen. So if you've been working on manifestation, it is working. This person's truthful can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is saying, I do feel that we are kind of on the same page and this could go somewhere. Fallen for you? Yeah. I mean, falling for you again, possibly. This also can be somebody that's walking away from something else or that feeling of rejection. It's really going to depend on what your story is specifically. Can be a Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius. There's a lot of faith and a lot of daydreaming and a lot of hoping. It's very beautiful energy. And then you have, you know, possibly that jumping in, taking a chance after you get to know somebody better. Cuddle bug, Netflix chill, hanging out, new connections, screwing, having some fun. And feeling like it's going to go somewhere. It's kind of like, okay, I'm getting to know you. Now what? Where do, where do we go? This is feeling pretty decent. This is really, really nice energy. Kiss. Yes. Kiss. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All signs are up here. Heavy are on the Taurus and the ones that I would mentioned already. I like it a lot. I mean, whether you're looking for a reconciliation or new, it's freaking beautiful. All right, let's roll a little blue. You have a yip, and then let's get a question answered. So keep waiting because, and getting different perspective and connecting the dots because there's definitely this feeling of something good coming deep in thought. Sudden revelation. But it's more in the energetic plateau right now. It's like more in, more in the energy than it is in talking. You have confirmed. I like it. You guys needed it. All right. That's what we have. Leos. And on we go. Virgo. Ready? Let's do it. Elemental quickies. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have for Virgo today? All right, you got the Magician and the King of Wands reversed. I feel like this person is misusing their power. Kind of like in a shitty way, trying to be persuasive. One more. It's like they're not going to compromise and they don't necessarily pay attention to how their partner or person feels. And they could have a bit of a jealous streak. Oh, I don't trust this shit at all. Uh-uh. This person is going to come in and embellish the truth. They're very persuasive, so be careful. This can be an attempt at a reconciliation. Be careful. That's definitely showing that this person could have been very impulsive, cheater, jealous, temper. Be careful. All right. Selfish at any rate. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. All right. There's you saying, fuck this shit, I'm out. This person feels stuck. Why do they feel stuck? Because you told them to fuck off and take a hike down a different path than yours? Oh, they still have faith that this can work out and you told them to go. You told them to go the fuck away because it's like, I'm not happy with this shit anymore. Disappointed. Not sure where the future is going. You basically said, give me a break. You know, I, I need to catch my breath. This person could have... It's like you lost interest or they made a bad choice, but there's a lack of any determination. And, you know, I'm feeling like that's how they feel about you. But they feel stuck because they still want to have faith in this. Heavy Aquarius. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Strength can be a Leo. All right. I'm feeling patience. What else? Oh, yeah. Okay. Patience. Hold them back a little bit. This is somebody that wants to kind of turn the sunshine around, all right? There's a feeling of things being a little bit foggy in the future, but they're like, I'll be patient. 
They're very concerned. They're up in their head. One more. I feel like they want to be content, but they're nervous as hell. Hermit. Okay, you could be tell you could have told them that you need a break. Now I'm nosy. Why in the hell would you tell me you needed a break? Why do you need a break? It's like you needed to really think about this connection. You felt like it wasn't going anywhere. So they could have, it's frustration, it's being fatigued. You could feel like they were arrogant and stringing you along. So you told them, you know, maybe not so much. Can be a Virgo or a Leo. Heavy Leo. So you might have told them to, you know, take a hike and give you a break before they had the opportunity to do so. They're not quite sure what the hell to do. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. So you have somebody here that disappointed you. They're hanging their lip. They're pouting. They're heartbroken. They want to be with you. They're really pouting. You know, this is really immature as hell. They're very, 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 very disappointed. But they're not ready to share emotions. They could be unrealistic on thinking that the two of you could get back together. What's your thought? You think it's been argumentative, happy horse shit. So they could have really said some shit that they regret. We're talking bitter, bad. No, it's like failure. Failure, this failed, this failed, and you're just not interested. And they know it. They want to, but they're just feeling sorry for themselves. That's not an apology. That's nothing. There's no movement there at all. All right, we are grabbing... V Love Crystals Jukebox Love. It's in the description box for anybody that is interested. Very colorful and very fun. Virgo Source, what do we have today? I'll be missing you and grow old with you. Interesting combination. All right, let us get a clean deck and see what we have. All right, you got the overall energy of possibly a Libra or Taurus, but the Empress, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and wanting to be respected, there can be somebody that is extremely enamored with you. We also have the card of change. That is death, but that doesn't mean that it's the end of something. It can be just significant change in your life. All right, new experiences or new beliefs, but it's a transition of some sort can be leaving the past behind you for a new experience. So let's see what we have. Person most on your mind or in your energetic field, what is their overall energy right now? Source. Nervous as hell. All right. So this person's not wanting to take any any change. They feel like this is getting the best of them. They might want to push back on whatever's going on. They could feel like you have the upper hand on them. They could be trying to... It's like they want recognition and they feel vulnerable, but at the same time really stubborn. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? What are they thinking about my Virgos? All right, so they still love you. They are being unrealistic because it looks like you've already chosen. They love you. They love you, but it looks like you said enough. This could be saying change your mind and moping. All right. Well, we know how they feel. What action does this pl person plan to take? What action? Well, they might say, I'll work harder at this. I'll put a lot more work into it. They're very committed to the idea of you. They want to talk, so they would come in to try to discuss this. The Eight of Coin is working things out, bringing it up, being consistent. It's like their sole purpose right now is to try to make this work. What is the actual blockage? Hangman, you were right. So this could be either one of you feeling like it was just enough time to sudden revelation. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Somebody needing to 
try to figure out what exactly they want. Oof, that's second chances. But it's also judging correctly. This does look like it stands a second chance. You got the world right underneath at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Judgment. Judging clearly. So it's like there's a period of deciding. Do I give this person a second chance? The hangman. They could have left you hanging and didn't offer enough. But they want to be on the same page with you. All right, let's see how you view this. How do you view this situation with this person? This is something that would make you content, and you do want to try to resolve the issues that have been here. That's what this is showing. You want to take things slow. Things could have... There's really a feeling of... We need to, to slow things down and be more practical and put priorities on each other. Wanting to drop the, the shit and have more hope. I'll pull that out. I like it. So this is saying, let's try this differently. Let's give this a shot again. Try things differently. It's like, I feel like this is attainable, but I think we need to, you know, go slow. Really think about what we're doing. I do want you to come back. I do want to try to resolve things. Actual feeling. This is definitely a potential reconciliation with a lot of hope. That's recognition. You wanting to be recognized. You wanting to be... I, you want to make sure you feel confident about the connection between the two of you and you want to be able to confess how you feel, okay? It is very nice energy. It is getting attention from this person and them paying more attention if they hadn't in the past. One more for feelings. Feelings. Yeah, I want to drop the drama. I want to move things forward. This is saying... It's going to take some time, but I think we can make this work. Let's make sure you guys can see this. So this does look like a reconciliation and a lot of hope. This person feels like you are their boo and would be respectful. This is knowing what you are worth, but still having love and growing feelings. All right. Single, single, single source. Who's coming towards our singles? Capricorn, who else might it be? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So any really goes. Capricorn heavily. This is somebody that wants to communicate and move fast. This is uh, also potentially a Gemini. This is saying a connection. Somebody that you feel like you could get dirty, get down, get into passion. Healthy boundaries. Communication is good. So is the screw in. But just can be a Gemini. Coming in with an offer of emotions. So very nice for singles as well. Incoming communication. Pretty much all signs yeah this doesn't this can be somebody just obsessed with you but i'm feeling it's more capricorn so those that want to reconcile it's it looks beautiful it really does releasing the toxic shed from the past wish fulfilled yada blah this person's moping and feeling like and you could be putting up very very clear boundaries for them to you know abide by too it's like not tolerating this but it's it's mutual you have to Meet them halfway because if you don't, you'll be not growing old together again. So it's going to depend. I'll be missing you. If you decide not to reconcile, then you decide not to reconcile. But it sure looks like there's a lot of hope that you could. Really using clear judgment. That is second chances. But, it, you know, it's really judging best for yourself. And it's a big choice to make. Wanting to be on the same path. Working with that person. So... You know, really thinking about it. All right, let's go through the signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Heavy Pisces. 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn. Here's the Sag if I hadn't already said it. All right, we're getting Little Blue out and then an answer from Source. Little Blue, we have not gonna happen. <laughs> Let's get an answer from source. So these are questions most on your mind. No, 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 no. That's a no, no. That's a no, 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 no. Then you have a yes, so it depends on what you're thinking about. Very confusing energy there. But a very, very nice reading. So if you're looking to reconcile, it's looking good, at least right now. That's what we have, Virgos, and on we go. All right, Wookie crew. Libra, your Wookiees sleep in. If you are dealing with the element of fire, Aries, Leo, or Sag, elemental Wookiees source. For the Wookiee crew, one-sided, that's a blue sheet. We don't take that. This person is very defensive. They feel like this was one-sided. It feels like they were the one that walked away. I don't know. I, you know, I just, they might try to make this get back together, but I feel like they just took off. Yep. Took off in a fucking flash. So it can be a cancer. I, I'm thinking they breadcrumbed you. All right. What do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sorts. No breadcrumbing. Ooh. Person could be regretting something. They are apprehensive. Oh, they're rethinking this and they want to be successful with you. So they want your attention back. Bottom of the deck, they're watching the shit out of you. It looks like they got a dose of karma. Yeah, what well, kind of well, like what comes around goes around. So this is rethinking the situation. They could be regretting something that they did, but they do want to pay attention to you. How do you view this? Maybe not so much. Can be a Scorpio. I don't know. I don't think you care. All right. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. So... They have an offer. They tried to give it to you and you told them to go fuck themselves. They could have made you a choice between two. One more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're cold and pissed. So that definitely could have been a choice between two and they're watching you. Had that been reversed, I'd say it was a third party, but it looks like they, you know, it really could have been. What's the next card up? Ooh, coming in with an apology to kiss your butt. I don't know. I don't think you're interested. It's like they got this nice shiny coin and you're saying, really not interested. All right. What do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Hurt. Uh-huh. Two more. Let's not assume anything just yet. Oh, yeah, they wasted your fucking time. There's that goddamn apology again. You got an ass kisser here that could have put you in a third party situation. They hurt you. This to me feels like the other man or other woman that they were interested in. And, you know, regret. It's like, I should have put more work into this. I should have bought you flowers. A little late now, chief. I don't know. I don't think you're interested in that shit at all. Let's pull out the Wookiee element. All right, source the Wookiee incoming energy. Incoming truth and clarity. Ooh, contentment and not being treated like an option. Ooh, fast incoming energy. Oh, we'll take that. So something with stability and not being treated like an option. Clarity, truth, a breakthrough. Very nice. We'll take the Wookiee element. We like that. All right. We're going to get out the love crystals. Jukebox love. It is in the description box for anybody that is interested. Let's see what we have for Libra. Source. Libra's energy. 
You have quit playing games. One more, please. Uh, you give love a bad name. Well then, let's get a clean deck. Okay, you have the overall energy of temperance. Now that can be personal healing. But honestly, I feel like you're ready to rock and roll and move forward into something new. So we are going to put this here for your overall energy. That can be a new connection. Can be one foot in, one foot out. Not exactly sure what you want to do, but it is moderation and getting your balance. So person most on your mind or in your energetic field, what is their overall energy source? Their overall energy. All right. Ooh, the Hierophant. This is somebody that, you know, higher learning. Higher learning, higher commitment, having faith. Hmm. Stable. You might want to offer a commitment. Interesting. Can be a Taurus or a Sagittarius. One more for thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts, we have the sun. Something optimistic and movement forward. The sun is very, very positive. It's being sure of oneself and wanting fulfillment and hoping that there's faith between the two of you, but it's abundance and success and it's manifesting the beliefs. It's very nice. Can be a Leo. You have three major arcana already. All right, their actual feelings source. Feelings. Feelings. All right. The chariot. Wow, guys. I want to move forward. I want to win. I want to succeed. This person can be at a distance, but there's a lot of ambition here. Wow. Interesting. So one more for feelings. Actual feelings. Okay, this is making a big choice to this person. They're putting up very clear boundaries on what is... It's like they're they're really making sure that this is the, the real deal and that this is a good choice for them. So they're being a little bit oh, defensive, but they, they're being strong and they could be protective over this relationship or wanting recognition. Interesting. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? Slow and methodical. All right. Let's see how the other one came out here. Continuously slow and methodical, but you might have more than one offer. Uh oh. Well, it also can be more so that you feel like this is somebody that you are interested in. Are they too slow for you or are you okay with the fact that they're a planner and they continue to be reliable? I mean, I personally feel that that's pretty damn nice. The bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of like, okay, now what? Mutual energy. What is the mutual energy here, Source? Wanting to talk, feeling restless. Why the feeling of restlessness? What is the feeling of restlessness? Something needs to be dropped. And let's see, one came out with it. There needs to be more balance between the two of you. So this is possibly somebody, obviously, that... It does look like things could have been going too slow for you and you want them to put more work into it. But this is also saying that you do have hope that this could pay off. Does this person reach out? I mean, they're thinking about making this big choice and it does revolve around commitment. They want to be happy. They're not, they're not as wound up and buggy about it this does look like somebody that would boss up and they do want to return and they do want to apologize so this is a potential reconciliation 
and stop being so selfish. How will you feel about this? You want the recognition. So you're like, yes, if, if you can actually stick with uh, the plan, because the Knight of Pentacles is a planner, and you continue to stay on course, we could work this out. So this can be trying to glue the two of you back together. You could have a little bit of doubt, but this is also saying this could go somewhere. So now what? They come in, that can be an apology, dropping the toxic shit, coming in with an apology, regretting things they've said or done, but still wanting to come back to try to work this out. This does look like better balance. You have to release the shit or we release the Kraken, take your pick. But this really it does look nice. They're becoming a lot more optimistic. They, they know... I'm feeling this is more your boundaries that they are respecting and wanting to be successful. I mean, this is very nice energy. What do we have for singles? Just signs. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and that person's intention to stay single. They're very, yeah, they're going to hold back. So be careful. You got the emperor reversed. I mean, you should be meeting somebody soon, but I don't think they're ready for anything long term. Let's get one more. So the next person, uh, I just don't feel like they're ready for a new chapter. They could be stuck on their ex yet. Okay. So not real, real liable. Uh -uh. I'd be careful. You would know. I mean, this person would be very, you could almost feel the tension in the air if you brought up long-term dating even. Okay, so we have heavy commitment. This person means business. This is an honest attempt at making things better and they stay consistent. I think it's good. Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All signs are up here. It does look like they are coming, Capricorn possibly as well. It does look like they come in and say, yes, yes, this needs to be dropped and agree with how you feel about things and are going to respect your boundaries. So I think the game playing is done. Even if they did give love a bad name, it looks like they want to clean up their mess. All right. Yes, no, maybe so. We have a yep. And let's get one from Source for Libras. You have affirmative Libras. Okay, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Scorpios, Elemental Cookies, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. All right. Death. Change or ending? What else? Can be a Scorpio. Two of Cups. This person feels like you're done. One more. One more. Oh, you know, I feel like they're a manipulator anyway. This person is trying to use their... It's like they're a control freak and they, they think that they've got it going on and... One more, I'm losing. Like, they've got control over the situation. Oh, they're watching you, though. Ho, ho, ho. They might be trying to manifest you back. Uh-huh. We'll see about that one. I'd be surprised if you didn't hear from that one again. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Judgment. Bum, 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 bum. Why judgment? Ace of Cups. So this person wants you to, they're really thinking about coming your direction and say, hey, I really mean, but they, this is like a big, big, big decision for them to come your way and say, I really think I'm falling for you. One more. Ten of Cups. They mean business. This is definitely saying, I want to be happy with you long term. Nice. Liking it. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. 
Three of Pentacles. I want to work with you. I might actually work with you because I really dig you. I think you're high. So that's nice. What else? Six of Pentacles. They want things to be even, oh, but they're a returner. Okay, so you have somebody that wants to get on the same page after there could have been an ending. They want to come back. They are interested in you. They consider you to be outgoing and the one that's the planner, but very passionate and lively and not shy about how you feel or think about things. So they might know that they're going to get a little bit of a butt chewing, but they do want to give more to the situation than they probably had in the past. All right. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Eight of Wands, fast incoming communication, fast movement, action, lights, camera, action. What else? Ooh. This person respects you. Okay, so they're really, really, really wanting fulfillment and abundance. Their feelings could be growing and it's going to continue that direction. This is somebody that doesn't want to be single. You got the Nine of Pentacles. They're really interested in you. They want to talk about this. There can be a physical distance, but they're so attracted to you and enamored with you. They consider you kind and passionate and nurturing and want to be, be the mother of my children. You know, I mean, the whole nine yards. Very nice energy. Wow. All right. We are getting out the jukebox oracle. See what kind of love we got going on for Scorpios. Yeah, nice elemental quickies. Energy source. What do we have? Scorpios. You were meant for me. Ooh, very nice energy. Let's grab a clean deck. All right, guys. You have the overall energy. Very nice energy. Using your intuition, being very intuitive, like psychic, okay? Maybe feeling something coming, but you have the world, so this can be a brand new chapter. Something exciting, movement forward. We're going to leave the high priestess out and leave the world end. Can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Pisces coming your way. All right, person most on your mind or in your energetic field, their overall energy source. That person's energy. Okay, we have Seven of Swords that could be holding back how they feel about you. And they're feeling fucking sorry for themselves. Well then, what's their actual feelings? Done. Well, fuck this shit then. Come up for the Seven of Swords. Are they lying or sneaking around? Sneaking around. So they're not over you, but they know that you call it quits. So they're sitting around feeling sorry. Could be thinking, drinking. They're thinking about what the hell they lost. Sucks to be them. What's the blockage? I think we already know, but what's the blockage? They left. They walked away. They felt rejected. One more. They didn't feel loved. Seriously. All right. How do you view this situation? Okay. This is showing that you're happier now, that you're getting your balance back, your feelings for this person. Okay. You're walking away. You're, you know, you're, you've done some healing, but you're just walking away. It's a loss. Yes, but you are just done with it. You know your value. You know your worth. So this feels like this person breadcrumbed you. They could have lied and cheated, regretted it, and you might have been the one to call it quits, but it looks like they walked away. They didn't feel loved or they took their love elsewhere. One more for the King of Cups. I just feel like they didn't want to give enough. And yet at the same time, they might have felt rejected. Possible Pisces here. Scorpio, Leo. What's the incoming energy for Scorpios? Incoming. Somebody that's going to be on the same page with you. It can be somebody that actually works with you. The Three of Pentacles. Very nice energy. 
it's like this is a deal oh and there's the passion so you've you're gonna take a different path you've just i mean this is really saying enough of this shit i'm not waiting forever could have been trust issues and this looks like something that you've been manifesting this is a breakthrough can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's like having the power to be able to move on away from that person that could have cheated, could have lied, could have just held back their emotions and they felt rejected, but it looks like they left you. High process is you saying, I'm not sharing my emotions with anybody until I feel damn good and ready. And I know enough about the situation. There's a feeling that you may have not, you used your gut feeling on this one. Your inner feeling is kind of like whatever you had decided, that was what you went with was your gut feeling. And that's not always, it's usually not wrong. But this is saying you're choosing a different path. This can be somebody that you have mutual attention or mutual attraction for, but you got a roaming eye and checking other things out that could pay off better. Knowing your value, knowing your worth, you could have a Libra Taurus coming in a direction that absolutely adores you. Whoa. Talk about exciting new energy. Anything else for this new energy? Sure looks like it's coming. That's ambition. And that's being treated like a king or queen. This again is using your intuition. And then you have the page of cups. Somebody's coming in with a little crushy crushy. And wanting something. Now this can be meeting at a celebration. So if you get an invitation, please do go. Because it looks like there's an opportunity coming your direction. Somebody that you could have growing feelings. That is growing feelings. It's abundance. It's being respected. It's being on the same page. It looks like something you've been working on. Just thinking about what you'd like to have in a person in your mind. Thinking about, I'd like them to have brown eyes or, you know, whatever the case may be. Whatever you think of very strongly and very positively is what you bring in. Whatever you send out into the universe comes back to you. So if you've been in a really good mood and trying to be happy, which it does look like you're happier now that you've got your balance back. It's like, I'm not going to be bread crumbed. I want something that is mutual and that this person shares their emotions with me. Sure the hell looks like you're taking a different path and feeling pretty damn good about it. Using your intuition, you got somebody that's interested in paying attention to you and curious to see where it could go, where it could take off. You want something long-term, reliable. This is also showing that you are higher expectations than what you had had in the past and feeling the need to just let go of it. It's like, I have to walk away from this because I, I you don't meet my standards and I'm sorry, but I expect a hell of a lot more from the person that I'm with. So Leo, Scorpio, singles, definitely beautiful energy too. Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. New path, new direction, Taurus, Libra, manifestation, having everything that you need, Pisces possibly, just seems like you're done, done, just done. It's time for a change, can be a Scorpio, it does feel like this person is feeling sorry for themselves and wallowing in their pity. So whoever's meant for you is yet to come, but it does look like there's beautiful energy coming in. All right. Let's get an answer from Source and we're rolling little blue. Little blue, what do you have for Scorpio? It says, are you kidding me? All right, what do we have? Source, yes, no, maybe so. Question most on their mind. Question most on their mind. You have not possible. So if you're thinking about that person from the past and wanting to reconcile... Looks like it's done. All right, guys, that's what we have for you, and on we go. All right, Saggies, let's see what we have for Elemental Quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. What do we have? Source, Fire Signs. All right. Okay, this can be forgiveness and a reconciliation. And dropping toxic shit. So that could have been a third party situation. This person's regretting it. They want to change their player ways. So that's really going to be a your call. But they do want to change. And they do want you back. Alright. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Source, Air Signs. Bickering, arguing, petty, petty, petty. Testing your patience. This person's feeling like this is a struggle. They're argumentative as hell. I don't know. If I were you, I'd probably just let them go. The chariot is ambitious. They're just going to keep at it. It's like they always have to be right. I just feel like let them go. One more. It's like they always, you know, it's that I always have to win. I'm in charge. I'm the boss. Control freak. Bottom of the deck. You might feel like it's a good match, but you're going to be tolerating a lot of shit. Can be an Aries. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. This person doesn't want to be done. They are rethinking this. They could be seeing you getting attention from somebody else. They don't want you and them to be over with. They want to see a future with you. One more. They're trying, they're really trying to, to get past your walls. They know that you don't trust them no more. You might just say no. I mean, they come in with an apology, but it is tiny and it looks like you're just turning your back on them and saying, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this anymore. This is you saying, I can't anymore. I can't do this anymore. So you might be telling them not happening. And you could have felt rejected and felt like the only thing to do was leave. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Jeez, guys. Temperance reversed. Okay, that's excess to begin with, all right? can be a bad temper, but it's excess. So this person could be somebody that drinks too much. Two more. Trying to hold back on their shitty habits. This is a waste of your time, B. Careful, because it looks like she got Pisces, Sagittarius, Wookiee element, the incoming energy source, the incoming unseen, unforeseeable, and the galaxy far, far away. All right, dropping arguments. This, this is somebody that wants to come back with love. And... <sighs> They do care about you and want a new chapter. So judge them fairly, but this is a second chance that actually looks damn nice. I still care about you. I am apologizing for whatever the re there's regret. There's disappointment here. Could have just been arguing, but this person does care about you. They have very deep feelings for you. They do want to start over. They do want to be back together with a lot of feeling of reconciliation in there, guys. Mm -hmm. Some good, some not so good. All right. We are getting out the jukebox love. Let's see what we have for Sag. What do we have? Source. We have crush and straight up. So honesty, straight up. Now tell me. All right clean deck overall energy is beautiful balance fairness truth honesty followed with the page of cups all right i'm gonna hold my thought on that can be a lever coming your way source the energy of the person most on their mind or in their energetic field what is that person's overall energy they want to talk they want to communicate they want to come in quickly because they feel heartbroken, they feel sad, they can feel like you emotionally manipulated it or that uh, you're very jealous. They also might feel like you don't feel the same way about them that you once had had or that you're not looking at the situation clearly. Their actual feelings. This is somebody that wants a future. So, this might be saying, I see your clear boundaries, but it's also sticking up for themselves. 
They want this connection. They need business. They're like, I want happiness. I want this stability. Ooh. And fairness and balance with justice up there. Why is the queen wearing a frown? Why is the queen upset? Okay. Shitty communication or they made you an option. They're not, they don't feel like this is over. How do you view this situation? How do you view this situation? You are ignoring the shit out of this person. So being stubborn as hell, you feel like their responses have been untruthful. Lack of communication. Lack of communication. Feeling lonely and wanting to be alone. Ugh. You don't feel like they're reliable. You feel like they're childish. How are your actual feelings for this person deep down? You don't know. You're not sharing. You're not telling anybody. It's like you're using your gut instincts. You're not thinking with your heart right now. Okay. One more for the Eight of Cups Reverse. That is saying that you might want them to come back and you might forgive them, but you're not going to fucking make it easy for them, sure. They need to drop the toxic shit. If they made you an option, it does look like they want to change their values and they want to come clean with you. Does this move forward? Does this move forward? Wow. Okay, so healing and a new start and jumping in and just giving it a go. So yes. Now, if you're single, this is definitely saying new interest, new connection, dating, fun, frolic, fucking, all that good shit. But this is reconciliation, generally speaking, of reconciling and this person dropping whatever the hell they had done and you making it really hard on them. <laughs> It's like you come at me, right? Or forget it. You're using your gut instincts. You're going within. Deep down, you do want this, but you don't want them to know it. It's like you want them to fucking work for it because it's a big choice for you. And it's like, if you don't come at me, right, you can forget it. So you've got reason to be disappointed. Yes. But this is giving them a second chance. So if you're looking for a reconciliation, it sure the hell is here. The stability can be back and this person can behave. Dropping the bullshit, taking care of the communication issues, clear boundaries. You're putting them up. Here's your wall going, do not pass go. Do not mess with me. Do not screw with me. But it's also them feeling vulnerable knowing that you're going to be stubborn when it comes to this choice. And it's your choice. It's them almost begging and pleading. Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini. But all signs are up here. What do we have for absolutely single source? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just going for signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So heavy on that. You also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius at the bottom. This person's intention. Intention for our singles. Pfft, fuck that. That's just playing games. It, it'll end up being nothing. So the next person that comes in that's a jackass. And it does look like you'll be meeting someone. No. No. I, I, they could put you in a third party situation or they're just not ready to offer any love. What's next? And then you'll have a time. No, so they're not sticking around. It puts you in this position of not knowing what the hell to do about it. Be careful. And then regretting getting involved at all. So be careful, singles. I feel like this person would hide secrets. Also, possibly a Pisces. Be careful, be careful, be careful. In other words, stay in for the fucking weekend. Eek. Eek. Can be an Aries. Gemini Libra Aquarius is very heavy. Scorpio. I don't think that they have anything to offer. That could be a player just looking for a thrill. Return. 
Judgment, Second Chances, Aries, Fun Frolic, Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Virgo. What else signs are up here? So I think this person does want to be straight up. I know that they feel that they don't really have a choice if they want you back. They have to be. Because if not, done. All right. So crush, yeah, I see a crush coming for you singles, but I'd be damn careful. And straight up, yes, I feel like this person's being straight up. Little blue. Boink, boink, boink. Are you kidding me? All right, let's get one from Source. Source, Sagittarius says, what do we have for Sagittarius? Question most on their mind. Okay. You have yes, and it's complicated. All right, my Saggies, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Capricorns, elemental quickies if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Queen of Cups. This person has emotions that are growing and they want to move things forward with you. Determination. Very nice. One more. One more. All right, this person's willing to go the whole nine yards, so they might know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get you to uh, trust them, but this person definitely has feelings for you and wants to move things forward. Doesn't matter how long it takes. They're willing to wait. Endurance. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, this person is not as bothered by things as they had been. They might have just tossed in the white towel and gave up. What else? Okay. Ooh, they're holding back from asking you for a second opportunity here. They might be giving up, but deep down they do want to have a second opportunity. So they might be holding back right now, but it can be because they feel like you tossed in the white towel. All right. You might want to try to break your walls down. Can be a Leo. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, this person wants to talk. They want to move things forward. Looking towards the future. Making determinations, but together. So they definitely want to communicate with you. Oh, big time. They're not over you can be a Libra, but this person says that they want they want this to be back together. They want this to be right. They could make a wrong right if they're having between the two of you, but that's honesty. All right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Caps. High Priestess. All right, holding it in, keeping secrets, alone, using intuition. Oh, Boomba. They're trying to avoid this ending, but they feel like you're not on the same page with them. One more. Oh, they could have been a player. Now, they also could be accusing you of being very on and off, treating this very hot and cold or being hot and cold and not sure what the hell they should do, so they're just keeping their mouth shut. All right, we are wishy-washy. Yes, dear. Okay, we are getting out jukebox love oracles in the description box. Source, Capricorns, what kind of love? That's the way love goes. Let's try to get one more. One more source. Okay, it must have been love. All right, let's get a clean deck and see what this is about. Okay, Cappies, you have the overall energy. It's actually quite nice. You have Justice and the Queen of Cups right underneath of that. So this is all about balance and fairness and rightness, okay? Seeing the truth of a matter, possibly. Weighing options, cause and effect. But it's also respect. So you wanting balance, getting your own balance, can be a Libra coming your way. Person most in your energy, oh, your cards are just freaking going, yeah, Libra, possibly Libra. So what is this person thinking about? 
they're thinking about higher commitment and thinking that you're not going to forgive them. But they do want to come back. That is what came out already. Can be a Taurus, but this is saying they might not feel as sorry as they let on to. Or they're just in a self-pity. Pity party. Could be feeling guilty or, you know, waiting. Waiting and feeling a delay. But they do want to return. Put the baggage behind you, possibly. One more for the Six of Swords. One more for the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person wants to have a new, fresh start. Clean slate with you. How do you view this situation with this person? You're not sure what the hell to think. You're having problems trusting it. Mm, why do we have the moon? I mean, there's anxiety here. You're not sure if you know everything about it. So you're kind of like, a little paranoid and defensive. You're calling them out. You're saying that this has been, again, this is that feeling of in really quick or out really quick. So quick action, fast. You could seem that feel that this person is determined as hell, but you could have called them out as a player in and out where the connection's been very on and off and it's got you feeling really defensive. Source, how does this person actually feel about our Capricorns? Feelings. Feelings. Well, there's the Queen of Cups. So they do care about you. And you have the lovers. What's the actual blockage before we get carried away with the lovers here? Jeez. Not cheese, Wookie. Temperance. There needs to be more balance. Now look at this. these two cards together. Wow. So this definitely can be a reconciliation. It sure can. You're very defensive. <laughs> If this is the blockage, that's saying that you two aren't agreeing or seeing eye to eye on things. <clears throat> this could be excess, but it's disagreements. It could be bad judgment or being impatient. The emotions are not exactly stable here or this person's like an unhealthy balance. Wrong approach. One more for two. Not enough wine. Not enough wine. <laughs> Not enough screwing, possibly. I hate to say it that way, but this is somebody that... This is the connection needing more attention because the Queen of Wands is an attention hole. Very passionate. Very bold. Likes to, you know, not shy, but, but in, in good looking and meetings and outgoingness. Bottom of the deck, you have the world. New chapters can be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Your actual feelings towards this person... Feelings, feelings. One more. Seven of Pentacles. One more. It's like you're slowing the pace down to see if this, yeah, okay. So some of you want this person back, but you're afraid it's going to end again. This is, make sure you guys can see that. Kind of. I, but I don't know if it's necessarily for no reason. One more for the lovers. You're afraid if they come back that it's going to end again. It is saying that there is a really good bond here. And what hit the floor is the Ten of Cups. So there, there is a feeling of a long-term connection here and bliss and the stability here. This just looks like there needs to be more communication. Justice can be a separation, can be a divorce, can be a lot of different things. But this person's considering the long-term... I'm wondering if you even want that. A lot of self-doubt here. They're wondering, you know, are, are you going to want this change? It's like feeling a little bit of a failure. So they're kind of feeling like, I didn't do something right. I'm trying. I want to come back in. I feel a, a special bond with you. Could be a twin flame soulmate. I mean, both these two cards are, they have emotions towards you, but there's something about choices or imbalances. Now that can be overindulging in things, but there needs to be more passion. There needs to be more fun. There needs to be, you know, so, and you're over here going, I don't know that I trust this. This can be a connection that was very on and off, lets you very defensive and pissed off. One more for that nine. And you're afraid of it ending again. At the one, you know, one card says, yes, I want to try this. And the other one, okay, this is definitely a counterpart. 
You want truth and clarity. Truth and clarity, truth and clarity. But some of you do want this connection back. You're still holding back. There's that feeling of loss again with the 10. It's like, I'm afraid this is going to end again. So you have doubt. Why the doubt? Why the doubt for Capricorn? They have to drop something that's toxic or they have to stop being so selfish. One more for the devil. Devil reverse. Can be another Capricorn. If you want to move things forward, it's definitely there. This is basically saying this person has to drop being selfish. They could have been a flirt. They could have put you in a third-party situation. The choices can be between two people, but this isn't really looking like it. Mm -mm. This is looking like this needs more balance. It needs more cuddle time. It needs more downtime. It needs more relaxed time. It needs more chill time. It needs more understanding and hands oh, in. What did you say? Wookie. It needs more time together. It needs a date night. It needs, you know, passion and fun. And you're really kind of holding back. You're holding back going, I don't know. If you come back, is this actually going to work? Are we going to end up in the same spot again? Because you could have called him out as a player or just that this connection has been very on and off. There's a feeling of a lot of fear with you and wanting truth and honesty. And it just shows you defensive. It's like, I don't know, I don't know. I, I gave up on this already and you've got a lot of fear around this, but it does look like there's a really healthy chance that this can be balanced again. They do want that. What they're thinking about is the long term. They're really putting a lot of thought into this. They could feel like you judge them incorrectly and wanting to come back, but both, both sides, both sides of your energy shows a return. Just you having more doubt or fear that it'll end up being the same way. And it will end up the same way if both parties don't put the work into it. This person does want a clean slate. They do want to start over with you. They do want the long term. They do care about you. So if you're wondering if there's a chance, yes. All right. Let's see what we get for singles. And then we'll call out the signs for you guys. I don't think your fear is unfounded. I do think there's a reason for you to feel that. But it does look here. You got the Eight of Pentacles. It does look like if you both put work into it, this could work out. Yes. It's continuing to, uh, you know, things working out. Doing it again. Doing it again. Making progress and dedication. All right. Single source. Who is coming towards singles? All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. What's this person's intention? Well, right now they're kind of stalking you, but they do want to come in and see if you want to, you know, get to know each other. This is somebody that's looking. It's kind of like that medium. It's not too, it's not much younger. It can be acting a little bit immature here or guarded and defensive and, you know, kind of afraid to come in can be really guarded but wanting to come in and pay attention to you and ask you out or vice versa or they're trying to get your attention but this does look like dating just with a little bit of uh uneasiness they're collecting information about you trying to find things out about you before they come in and ask so that does look like new dating all right cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn there is, I mean, this can be, again, it sure the hell can. And there looks like with much more stability. Gemini, Aries, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. That's a reconciliation. Capricorn, Sagittarius, heavily. That's a really nice card saying higher commitment. Learning a lesson possibly, but this is really what is on this person's mind. So... A disconnect? Yes. Doesn't seem like there's problems here? Yes. Is every relationship perfect? No. Taurus also a possibility. Let's get out. Little Blue. Little Blue says, yep. And we're going to get one from Source. Question most on Capricorn's mind. Source. Yes, no. Maybe so. Capricorn. You need to let your horny little devil go. 
let your horny little devil go for sure that's what we have for you capties all right that's what we have and on we go aquarius elements of quickies if you're dealing with an aries leo or sag two more saurus okay let's see what we got so far okay this person <laughs> they uh they want forgiveness that's judgment there they do. What they do, what they do. Okay. Looks like they had a little bit of a roaming eye, might have stepped out. Six of Wands, they want to come back in and be triumphant with you. Real quickly, real quickly. So they could have taken off in a hurry too, chose a different path, but they do want to reconcile, they do want forgiveness. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. A lot of regret going on here with your cards already. Jesus, Lord, this person was a manipulator and they're not over you. Oh, be careful. They're regretting. They might see you trying to move on and that they hurt you. Acknowledged. At least that. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What the hell are you guys doing? You're making people watch on. You're telling them no. All right. Four of Pentacles. person's holding back their emotions but they do have feelings for you oh, but they're a fucking commitment phobe no so this could have been somebody that you presented your wonderful cup of love and now they want you back they want you back this looks to me like somebody that just didn't give enough to begin with and you probably dodged a bullet but the four of pentacles they're not saying much they're keeping their emotions down deep, not opening up, accepting where they're kind of at. They're guarded, kind of reluctant and stubborn to admit that they were wrong. What the hell? Bottom of the deck, you got the five of pentacles. They feel the emotional poverty between the two of you. And it does feel like they want to come back, but they're not doing a damn thing right now. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Might have to pull out the fifth element. All right. No stability here. A feeling of a breakup or instability. And that's definitely a breakup. Ten of Pentacles. Lack of abundance. Lack of commitment. Separation. Oh, they're confused as fuck. Okay. No, 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 no. Wookie element to the fifth and coming in another universe parallel to our own. What do we have, Source? Somebody not over you. Oh. Doesn't seem like you can escape it. Possibly a Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This has got you in contemplation on what direction you're going in. And the future is just kind of confusing to you. It's not wanting to be single, but not feeling like you're good on your own either. What the hell, guys? There is something coming that would definitely be interested in you. But there's this feeling, a lot of lack. A lot of lack. It's like, I don't want to be single. I don't know what direction to go. My future is kind of, I'm unsure. So it's like, you feel like you're in limbo. There is somebody that's curious to know if you're available and wants to be respectful of you as soon as you leave the baggage behind you. Okay, there's your reading. Bye-bye. I'm kidding. Okay. We're going to get out an Oracle deck called Jukebox Love. It's in the description box for anybody that's interested. Source. Aquarius. What the hell is going on with Aquarius? One card, please. Because of you and breaking all the rules. All right, you guys being rule breakers, let's get a clean deck. All right, you have the overall energy of the lovers. So that can be a very aligned, intuitive love. Somebody that you feel a connection to can be a Gemini coming your direction. The feeling of a soulmate, but it's also healthy boundaries or a choice. So... Person most on your mind or in your energetic field, what is their overall energy source? That person's energy. 
All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, this person wants to come in and be responsible, reliable. They want to possibly, I mean, this is the type that wants to be married. Bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Cups. Their actual feelings. Actual feelings. It's kind of like wanting to come in with commitment. Respect. Actual feelings. Hopeful, wishful. And wanting you to, you know, plan on a future with them. Ooh, liking that. How do you view this? You're not telling how you feel about this. You're not sharing your emotions or it's something that you've held on to. You're holding on to your thoughts, I feel like. Okay. Ugh. However, you do see passion. Now, you have, you've got mixed, mixed energy here. You're holding it in. Part of you thinks that they're just, you know, out for one thing. And part of you just wants truth and clarity. I mean, you got very divided feelings on them, but you've, you know... You feel like there's, are you treating me like an option? Okay, so a little bit of confusion on your part or holding back. Your actual feelings. Actual feelings. You could be thinking about more than one person as well with the King of Wands and the King of Swords here. You could have more than one person on your mind. And they realize that it would be you that has to make a choice. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Chariot. All right. One is getting left behind. Someone's getting left behind and you're moving forward. The chariot is very determined to leave any baggage behind you and having clarity. So somebody's getting booted out of this party here. There is passion. There is a new beginning for you. But one of them looks like broke your heart because they didn't put enough work into this. They had emotional ADD and you're releasing them. There is one that you want a connection with. Yes. Which one is it? The one from the past? I think you're thinking about them, but I think you're talking to somebody new or soon will be and jumping into something new. Tell us more about the King of Swords. Because that's the one I feel like you're holding back from. Tell us about the King of Swords. That was the one that you actually did have love for. So this can be... This person, I really feel like, is new. So you have to make a choice. This feel, feels like you're done with one that just didn't put any work into it. You want something a lot more balanced. And what's the blockage here with this? What's the blockage? I feel like you have more than one person interested. One from the past and one that's kind of incoming. Yeah. Okay. The blockage is your ex wanting to be on the same page with you, but you not wanting to talk to them. You took an emotional vacay from them, and you've just made up your mind. You're not looking at this as an option anymore. You're you're like, I'm done. I'm not changing my mind. Choice has been made, and right under that, they're regaining interest, and it's probably because they see you getting attention from other people, and they do not like it. Well, kind of tough shit for them. So you're putting up clear boundaries. This looks like you're just moving forward, choosing the newer option. And I feel like the newer option is on the left here, but you got the X kind of hanging in there thinking about you, you know, but I feel like you're moving on. It's like, I'm done. I want something new. And you've got, you know, somebody that could have been very cold and distant. And you're like, I'm not dealing with the Wicked Witch of the West. Wanting confrontation. What do we have for single, 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 singles? What sign for singles? What sign first? Virgo. Can be a Scorpio. Gemini. Tell us more. About the incoming energy for singles. Oh, it looks nice. So that's spending time together. Netflix chill. It's two people, not three. That's nice. We're not going with the energy, just the signs. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius, and Virgo. 
This is somebody that wants to show you interest, has an eye on you. It's very enthusiastic, can be younger than you, but it's a crush. So it's just a, a start. It's expressing their emotions and wanting balance. They want to hang out and get to know you. They want to see if you can be on the same page and go somewhere with this. So singles, very nice energy. Those in this pish posh here, it feels like you're holding back your emotions because you want to make sure, okay, I'm sorry, but you guys are kind of on the edge here. Some of you might want the person back from the past. Some of you don't. It's like there's a feeling of releasing this person, leaving the baggage behind you. This person could have left you and pissed you the hell off. But you're, you know, it's like this is also feeling forgiveness as well. You're dropping the hurt and the pain from the past so that you can pronto forward. It can be a cancer. This is saying new. Where are you going to, you know, who are you going to give your cup to? Because you got more than one person interested here and you're holding it back. You might not be telling this new person that you just recently, it's like you're not sharing all the information because it is somebody new. You don't want to sit there and go, wah, wah, wah. But this does look like you have options and you need to make a choice. And it looks like to me, some of you are just done. I'm going to say most of you are just done. If you want a reconciliation, this has to change you can't have somebody with emotional ADD just assuming that the other partner is going to put the work into it. It doesn't go that well. It'll end up the same way. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy on the Aquarius. This newer person has faith and a future with you, but it's new. Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, it feels like new passion. Incoming and movement forward, I do like it, but you do have to leave the baggage and that sense of hurt behind. To me, it feels like you guys are just releasing it, and of course, then that other person gets interested again. It's just like uncanny how it happens. Oh, you're getting attention from other people? Maybe I missed out. Really? Should have thought about that. Answer. Question on your mind. You have who knows. Let's get one from Source. Source Aquarius, question most on their mind. You have a not right now and not possible. All right, that's what we have for you, Aquarius, and on we go. All right, cupcakes, let's do it. Pisces, elemental cookies, Aries. Good morning, cupcakes. Aries, Leo, Sag, what do we have? All right, just one. The moon reverse, this person is regretting all their secrets coming out. Oh, what a pity, pity. Anxious. This person could have depression issues too. Oh, and it's because of you. Well then. You will heartbreaker you. Yeah, kind of like a heartbreaker. They feel like you just changed your mind and not interested in them anymore, but they could have caused it because you got their, their fucking shit coming out in the wash. Ah, they missed putting their dirty socks in the laundry. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Boom. This person's confused as fuck. Confused at this ending. There was major upheaval. One more. Can be a Scorpio. Fuck them. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't, fuck don't, no, don't fuck this person. This person's just gone. Nine of Cups reversed. They're feeling sorry for themselves. If you tried and attempted to get back together with this person, you'd be kissing their ass royally. Not worth it. They don't know what the hell they want. They could have treated you like an option, and now they're getting a dose of tough shit. All right. A dose of man the fuckity up. Don't like it. They went a different way. I feel like that chariot should have been reversed, but Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces source. What the fuck, guys? Ugh. All right, you're holding back because you've got more than one person that's acting like an asshole. Or you have somebody that's like bipolar, and I'm not, you know, tripping on that shit. But this person here comes in really shitty. And when the king of wands, it's all about themselves. And you're holding back and saying, you know what? I'm just looking for something better. I've got everything that I need. Initiating something else. This has got you frustrated. So you're just turning your back to them, manifesting a better situation. You've had enough. No more anxiety. What the hell? Cupcakes. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Oh, seriously. Three Pentacles. This person feels alone. They feel like, well, there was a choice between two people or the communication sucks shit. Also can be a Gemini. Oh, but they're getting more interest in you. So they're seeing you possibly get attention from other people. Oh, yeah. So now I want you back. Well, you know what, jackass? Maybe not so much. You got the devil at the bottom of the deck. They did something toxic to cause this. Three, third party. And then you get the four of wands right underneath of that. Should be a beautiful card. It's reversed. There's no stability to be had with that person. They're a, they're a fucking manipulator. Go in the wrong direction. You lost interest. Well, okay then. La, 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 la. Wookie. The Wookie Element, the incoming parallel universe of better energy source. The better energy coming in. Nine of Wands, you're going to stay a little guarded yet, but you do have somebody coming in with a crush interested in you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Curious to know about you. Somebody's watching you. Watching you, watching you, and new dating. Oh, we like that. Heavy on the Aries. Aries, Leo, Sag. So we like the incoming energy that is, you know, not present yet. That's what I like to use my fifth element for. That poor Wookiee. Sometimes he feels like I abuse him. Not, not possible. No, no, no. We are getting out. Jukebox love. See what we get for Pisces. Source, what do we have for my cupcakes? You guys deserve a break. Holy crap. Impulsive. Torn. Okay, so there might be something really hard to choose about. Let's get a fresh deck. All right, Pisces, you have the overall energy of being done with one thing, walking away, but it's like a peaceful resolution for you. I don't feel like it was a problem to walk away from this. It had enough, but you're being very guarded and you're watching for red flags and you're very, very intuitive right now. Using your intuition, trying to make decisions based on your gut feelings can be another Pisces, but I'm feeling that it's your energy. Well, it is. Did you bury the body in the backyard? Did you bury the body in the backyard? Don't admit it, though. So don't admit it. Just, just put hug in comments. We'll know what it means. Couple shuffles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I do like that energy for you. It is moving on. It's moving into something new. Could have been there. There had been a change that was unplanned, but it's still good outcome. Could be after a, a trial or felt like one. Person most on your mind or in your energetic field. What is that person's overall energy? They're in the backyard. Yeah, it looks like they're being quiet. Look at that. Temperance. They're being real quiet in their, their shallow grave. Temperance is wanting to try to have moderation and balance. So this person is being very patient. And this card just about wanted to fall out. So they might have something to offer. This can be something new. Sagittarius, potentially. Actual feelings. Actual feelings. Source. Yep, definitely a dead body in the backyard that's being real quiet. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something else. We're going to call this new. This person's very curious because they find you really hot. Wishing and hoping for you. Thinking about you, wanting to pay attention to you. They think that you are extremely like a hottie. They're very interested in you sexually. They think that you're fun. They might want to conquer you. <laughs> this is definitely saying that you're lively and not shy. They see you as sensual and could be that they also find you a little intimidating. But it's like showing interest in you. Could be messaging. It's positive. They're yearning and burning. You're making their fur purr. Definitely a nice energy on their side. Wow. All right, how do you view this person? Another question. Okay, you're open to it. But there again is that feeling of using your intuition. The Queen of Cups uses their intuition. One more for how you view this person. Ho, ho. This could be something that would make you feel like, yeah, baby, growing feelings, moving forward, being optimistic, the sun, happiness. So you could be content with this person. Actual feelings moving forward. OK, 
Okay, we have two. All right, ooh, three. Okay. All right, so you don't want, there's something that there's a little bit of conflict about. So you're gonna stay a little apprehensive, I feel the need to say. This is definitely meeting somebody new, but you want stability. So it's like, I'm gonna maintain my independence because I don't wanna end up in a spot where I had been before where there was conflict and petty bullshit. It's like not wanting any disagreements. It's like you're setting a very clear boundary of saying I'm not dealing with any third party bullshit. I don't want any drama, period. No games, no bullshit. But game on, ace of wands with a cut of the deck. Game on. New. Getting on the same page. Holy crap. Look at that. This is new energy. This is somebody that you will judge fairly. <laughs> a lot of passion. Um, that can mean good in the sack, by the way. But getting on the same page with somebody, this is definitely new energy. I just got that shiver thing down my leg. That means yes. Maintain your independence until you know for sure because there can be more than one option. But this is definitely like having all four kings and that's a lot of stability. Making sure that there's no drama and bullshit. Using your intuition moving forward. Singles, you got dating. Okay. And somebody that very much wants to be intimate with you and make one hell of an offer that could be successful. Give it a chance. So use your intuition. Always, absolutely, always. But this is still having some emotions and feeling like this could grow and very well. Okay. Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Lots of screwing. Hopefully. Good, for you. Good screwing, though. Judgment. Clear judgment. It's a new chapter. A new beginning. It's really you Really making sure that it's the right thing for you. The only card that is... Nah, do you have any reversals? No. <sighs> wow. Nothing. Making sure. Now, you, this person can test your patience once in a while or that you just don't agree on everything all the time, but it's minor. All right? It's nothing big. There can be a little bit of envy until you get to know them better. You might take things wrong, but it's new. Ugh. Uh, jump in, take a chance, get your feet wet. This is definitely being on the same page with somebody, definitely putting work into a situation, definitely feeling the feeling, feeling, feeling is mutual. Stability, maintaining your independence and still being in the connection. You know, this is two fours here. That's a lot of stability. This person's got the hotties for you and it sure the hell looks like your feelings could grow for them too and that you could be happy moving forward and not watch tarot. How about that shit? Starts small. Starts with, I'm kind of curious. What do you think? I'm really daydreaming about you. I'm hopeful. I feel like there's faith to be had here. Wow. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy on the Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo. Wow. Get some. Get some, the Wookiee says. Aries. Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus, Virgo. Heavy Aries. Very heavy on the Aries. You have the Emperor and the Fool. Wow. If you're torn, it's because you don't want to be too impulsive. But I'll tell you, that looked pretty damn sweet. So with the Emperor, can be meeting somebody soon if you haven't already. All right, what already fell out of my deck is, come here, thumbs up. Come here. Come here. And then you have not going to happen. Not sure what that one's about. All right. Question most on their mind. Spirit says no. Well, I say yes, and I give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, that's what we have for you today. It does look like there's a new energy coming your direction. What you do with it, really up to you. But cupcakes, it looks good. That's what we have. Many blessings, and we will see you next time.